Get up, get ready, because we have another at-home edition of World of Fortnite for you. I'm your host, Sarah Pookie Facelin, and we have an amazing show for you today. We're looking at the top five constructor perks and save the world in the rotation. We're wrapping with the Batman zero point crossover and point of interest. And of course, we have everything the community is passing around in low ground. Rumor has it that LeBron James is coming to Fortnite. Data miners have found reference to the King's Bling quests, which will allow players to earn various cosmetics. We're expecting the LeBron James skin and cosmetics to drop sometime around the release of his new Space Jam movie. Now I can look like LeBron when I'm dunking all over you chumps in game. Maybe not. All right, let's move on because we have everything that you're gonna need to know about construction perks in the rotation. Constructors are the strongest endgame class in Save the World. It is the only class that is absolutely mandatory in level 160 missions, unless you want to use up twice the resources and spend a ton of time healing and replacing walls. It is also the only class where your entire team could be running a constructor and it would only benefit the mission. There are dozens of constructors in the game, each with their own combinations of abilities and unique perks. Today, we'll be taking you through five of the best constructor perks in Save the World and what makes them so good. No that this list is focused on the five best perks overall and not the five best perks for jail builds, which are the meta for it for endgame missions. Number five on our list is the Ice King's perk, Frozen Castle. When used as a support hero, Frozen Castle applies 15% snare to all targets on floors affected by your base. But in the commander slot, Frozen Castle also inflicts enemies hitting structures affected by your base with an instant freeze. Enemies remain frozen for four seconds and can be frozen once every 15 seconds. Ice King works great as a commander as this perk pairs well with the power base Nox's self-healing walls, giving you enough time to heal your walls while also slowing down enemies approaching your base. At number four, we have Mega Base Kyle. Kyle's perk Mega Base grants your base extra three tiles in all directions when used in the commander slot, and just one tile in all directions when used in the support slot. Unless you're doing category four store missions, you won't be using Mega Base as your commander. Base Kyle and Power Base Nox are still the most used constructors in the game. No matter what constructor you're using, having extra range on your base helps a lot. One tile in all directions covers a pretty sizable area, and this, combined with other perks on the list, will learn largely help your newly included builds with various other perks from your support squad. Number three on our list is Machinist Harper's Tough Traps. This perk gives all traps affected by your base an extra 52.5% durability if used in the commander slot and an extra 17.5% durability if used in the support slot. This one's a no-brainer. Having your traps last longer makes a huge difference in resource efficiency, no matter what build you're using. You can't perk up your traps for extra durability because you'll then be sacrificing on more useful perks such as duration or damage. Tier five materials aren't easy to farm and not being mindful of durability can mean running out of traps quickly. The top two on this list are two perks that aren't as active as the ones before, but provide the best possible buffs to your structures. Number two on our list is Powerbase Kyle, whose perk, Power Modulation, automatically heals your walls every 10 seconds. Power Modulation heals your walls for 11% of their max health if used in the commander slot and just 4% if used in support. This doesn't tap into any player's resources and automatically heals your walls. Other than having a stronger base at the bottom, this perk also saves you the effort of going up top and healing everything robbers and flingers have destroyed. Power Modulation benefits heavily from the next perk on our list, which is also a defense based perk. Finally, at number one, we have Base Kyle's Extra Health to Structures. Base Kyle's commander perk, Lofty Architecture, grants your structures an extra 84% health, which goes down to 28% in the support slot. An extra 84% health to your builds is a huge upgrade in every sense. Since Power Base Kyle heals a percentage of your building health, combining the two perks by having one of each hero on your team will give you a nearly indestructible base, even with multiple smasher waves. This perk is especially important in jail builds where your walls must withstand constant attacks from husks trapped within the jail box. Base Kyle made it to our list of top constructors and he has topped this list as well. Hello and 
welcome to another edition of Playing With Pooks. This week, what I thought I would do is just show you guys a little bit. Play some rags to riches, check out this LTM. Uh, it's been in the game before, it's not really anything new, uh, but I personally have never played it. So, it's gonna be a new learning experience for all of us. Confirmed, LeBron James in the game. It's pretty neat. Uh, so basically, uh, the aim of this game is to upgrade your weapons. And the only way to do so is by eliminating other players. Somebody dropping up top, maybe? Nobody's landing here? I thought this was gonna be hot for sure. We also have not run into anybody and there's only 22 people left alive in this game. There's a very good chance we'll either get sniped in the head or win. <laughs> Somebody's in a vehicle. Um. Whoops. Give me the greens, yes. Give me the greens. We did it, we upgraded. We in here, boys. Stop shooting at me. I'm just trying to upgrade my weapons. I don't need this in my life. Oh gosh. Mistakes may have been made. I should not have engaged on this man. Leave me alone. I didn't mean it. It was all a joke. Um. I don't believe they meant to do that. So we're just gonna make our way down. You don't wanna give up my position here. So just connect to this guy. And work my way in. really can't see anything. Not ideal. Don't do that. Oh god. Oh god. What an absolute nightmare, honestly. That's like absolute worst case, like never wanted to happen. As I was shooting the last guy, it lagged. 
the game physically lagged and i'm not guys run the replay editors please run the replay let the people see what i mean i was robbed of that you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna write epic an email right now with that replay and tell them to add a win to my account because that was absolute bogus. I mean, the fact that I only had green weapons probably didn't help anything either. But in my defense, I only came across one person the whole game. So, really, is it my fault? Not really. Not really. Uh, I'm, I'm going to hop off, guys. I don't really know if I can take another heartbreak like that. So, I'm going to go draft up this email to Epic. Uh, and then I will let you know next week in Playing With Pooks what became of it. Probably nothing, but there's a chance. <laughs> anyway, that's going to be it for me. Check out Rikes to Riches. It is actually a ton of fun. It is a solo game mode, so if you don't have any friends to play with like me, uh, you can just stay in that playlist all day and you'll be good to go. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>
little poop. Same feeling I get when a mistake that I make gets me eliminated and sent back to the lobby. But moving on, Ham Oween gives a Marvel scene the Fortnite treatment. Hey, let's do Get Help. What? Get Help. No. Come on, you love it. I hate it. It's great. It works every time. It's humiliating. Do you have a better plan? No. We're doing it. We are not doing Get Help. Get Help! Please! My brother's dying! Get Help! Help him! Classic. Still hate it. It's humiliating. No, not for me, it's not. Gotta say, it works every single time. Next up, Rackaboy 2 finds a bizarre bug involving a parasite, a chicken, and a UFO. Finding this bug is way harder than actually recreating it, and it's actually kind of ridiculous that you were able to find it in the first place. Finally, Atomic Cortex finds a way to deal with players that try to pickaxe you on landing. Yes, yes, just keep following me into this trap. Good work. Moving on, Point of Interest has the conclusion of the Batman Zero Point crossover. We finally got there. The final edition of the Batman Zero Point crossover comics is out, and the story has given us a pretty good, yet mysterious, conclusion with a few big revelations happening towards the end. If you've missed out on any of the previous comics, be sure to check out our previous videos. We have covered every issue of this comic series in the Point of Interest segments of previous videos. Today, we'll be taking you through the finale of the Batman Zero Point crossover series, some hidden secrets, and what we can expect from DC in the future. The fifth issue ended when Deathstroke betrayed Batman and Catwoman, jumping into the portal that led him back to Gotham City. This resulted in the duo being trapped in the Fortnite world with not enough dimensional energy to help them escape. They needed a third person from their own world. However, Catwoman managed to get the device from Deathstroke that can still be their way out. Unfortunately, the device is broken and stuck on one setting. Batman remembers feeling a sense of familiarity around Harley Quinn and wonders if she can be the key to their escape. They use Batman's grappler to hang to the battle bus and scout the island in search of her and find her engaged in combat. Correction, happily engaged in combat. She turns hostile on seeing them and they get into the fight, trying to get her to understand that they can help her escape the loop. Annoyed, Harley shouts at them that she doesn't want to leave. Reminds me of the countless videos of kids screaming at their parents about not wanting to leave the world of Fortnite. This panel right here sums up Fortnite addiction in one sentence. I feel you, Harley. The one more game fever is definitely real. Batman knocks Harley out with a pickaxe, and just as he's about to take her out of there, a batarang whizzes by, missing him by inches. Batman and Catwoman come face to face with another Batman and Catwoman, with Walmart versions of Joker and Bane following. These are snapshots of the respective characters that are running through the loop over and over without a mind and mouth of their own. They're just as tough as the original originals, and defeating them feels like an unnecessary and long drawn out task. Batman manages to create a distraction, just enough for them to escape back to the machine that controls the portals through the zero point. Batman begins to calibrate the device to access various worlds through the portal until he finds Gotham City. And suddenly, Catwoman says she doesn't want to return. I guess she's addicted to Fortnite too? Harley Quinn regains consciousness and comes up with a terrible that's what she said joke and escapes because she can't get enough of the endless battle royale carnage. Batman and Catwoman give up on her and discuss the possibility of staying in the loop. 
They know how it works, they have full freedom, and they have each other for support. As they still don't remember anything from their real lives, they're afraid to take the risk of losing each other as their time spent within the loop has made their bond even stronger. These guys learned nothing about virtual worlds from Inception, did they? After that sweet talk, Batman goes, no, I love my duty, and says that he has a feeling people need him back home. Yeah, you sure do, Mr. Commitment Issues. Catwoman apparently loves to hear about responsibilities and goes, yeah, you're right, honey. And they jump into the zero point and go back home. They successfully land back in Gotham City only for Catwoman to remember their history and decide she doesn't want to stay with him anymore. She leaves leaving him dejected. I guess that's why they call it the Zero Point series. There's zero point in trying to explain relationships to Batman. Batman then meets Jim Gordon. They stare at the dark sky for no reason as they always do and discuss how Deathstroke is an absolute noob and couldn't have done this whole thing by himself. Meanwhile, the people behind this whole fiasco are celebrating their success. We have Deathstroke, Lex Luthor, and even the Batman, who laughs, a hybrid of Batman and Joker. As in the original DC Comics, his text in this comic is in a different color as well. This whole thing was a plan to get the power of the Zero Point, and it was backed by none other than Dr. Sloan from the I.O. We also get a revelation that every time we've heard they in the Fortnite dialogue, it was referring to the I.O. This goes back to old events from Chapter 1, including the end event. In the end, we see a massive rift open in the sky and Sloan smiling, revealing there's more to come. This marks the end of this six book series. The armored zero point outfit is out in the item shop and Superman's coming to the game very soon, which could play into this storyline. The armored outfit is reminiscent of the one from the Batman vs Superman movie, leading many to believe that the two will be seen together in Fortnite's next crossover comic series. If every single crossover is going to contribute this much to the Fortnite lore, Sign me up. Now, I just have to wait for the trade to add it to my home library. That about does it for me, but for more of our content, check out our YouTube and Twitter channels at Squad State. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, here's your Victor Royale with cheese.